Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would do a closet clean out, but this time I'm gonna do Liam's room. So I have all of his fall and holiday stuff up at the top of the closet because we live here in Florida and it's always hot here. So I kind of have a bin just at the top of his closet with all of his clothes for the cooler weather. So I thought since it's almost the holiday season with Christmas, all this coming up, I thought it'd be perfect to take down that fall stuff, hang it in his closet, and I wanna go through everything, whatever doesn't fit him anymore, I'm gonna put aside and donate and just organize his whole closet and see what we can clean up, what we can get rid of. It's just nice to kind of declutter and do stuff like that. So I know you guys loved my closet video. I thought I would do the same with Liam's. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna go through everything. I'm really gonna just binge clean his room. So make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and keep watching. So I'm zoomed out just so I can show you guys kind of what it looks like right now. So up at the top, he has a lot of different bins. Over here to the right is just his bin of stuff that he has for fall and set aside for this year. It's just kind of his fall and cooler clothes. And then those two bins right there on the top are stuff that he has to grow into, which is crazy. We're so blessed and he has so much stuff to grow into, thank God. And then I have all his clothes right here. He has so many clothes. I kind of have, there's his Halloween costume back there. I have this kind of organized by bathing suits and tank tops. Hi, you gonna help me? Yes. Okay. I have over here organized by bathing suits and tank tops, but I definitely need to just go through everything. And then down here, I have his shoes and toys and just a bunch of different stuff. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is just start with the clothes and see what I can kind of get rid of that doesn't fit him. Do you wanna help me? You like to clean your room? Tell them you went to a birthday party. It was so fun. So today we went to a birthday party for his little cousin and we had so much fun. <laughs> we played in the pool and I'll upload a little clip for you guys here, but they have this big thing that Liam got to ride on. It's like a car, two seater car and he had so much fun. So he's definitely wanting to get one. It is so cute to see him play with all the kids and stuff. Okay, so at first I'm just gonna start by going through all of this. I wanna just take down the shirts and reorganize everything. So I'm just gonna take everything out of his closet, all the clothes that are hanging up. Organizing and decluttering things is the best feeling ever. It feels so good to just clear out things that no longer fit him and just clear more space in his closet just because I feel like he has so much stuff and I never have anywhere to put it. His drawers are so full as well. So it's just really nice to go through everything and get it nice and clean. I really like to do this once a year or twice a year in both of our closets and it really makes a big difference. I love it. So what I'm doing right now is just taking all this stuff, putting it on the bed here. And as you guys can see, I'm clearing out my closet. It looks so much better. I just wanna organize. I just wanna organize everything. So I find that when I'm trying to organize a space, I like to really take everything out of that space so you can kind of see what room you have and how you can reorganize it. I like to change things around so it looks different than before. So now that I have all the clothes taken out of the closet, I'm gonna go through and see what fits him, what he's outgrown, and just kind of organize by t-shirt, long sleeves, tank tops, stuff like that. I did have all of his tank tops just folded in his closet, but I think I'm gonna keep it like that just because he does have so many clothes, it's easier just to fold the tank tops and hang all the t-shirts and everything else. I'm gonna make a pile of stuff that he's outgrown. So literally the first shirt is 2T, doesn't fit him. I'm just gonna set it aside. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday when this video is going up and I hope you guys had such a fun weekend. I feel like the weekend goes by so fast. Like I told you guys, we went to a little birthday party. It was so cute and so much fun. It's always fun going to little parties and stuff now that I have kids. It's so fun. Liam was playing with everyone and it was just a blast. But we spent a lot of time just hanging out with family this weekend and it was definitely much needed. The weekends go way too fast and it, we really always have so much fun just spending time together. Also, all the hangers that aren't nice hangers like this, I have a pile down here I'm just gonna get rid of because I don't like to use those. I like when they all kind of go together and I'm just gonna get rid of those. They usually are just hiding on the side of the closet anyways, so it kind of clears out some space. You guys, I cannot believe Halloween's just in a couple weeks. I have been trying to do all the fun holiday fall things. 
I love holidays, so just doing stuff like that gets you in the mood for the season, and it's been so fun. We actually plan on going somewhere this weekend. It's so fun. We didn't get to go last year because of COVID. It was closed, but it's really fun. There's a pumpkin patch, a corn maze, there's cows, which are my favorite animal, and it's so fun, so I'll definitely have to vlog that for you guys. And here's what the closet's looking like so far. I have the t-shirts hung up. I have his nice shirts here in the front. His Halloween shirts, since he want, I want to make sure he wears those before the season ends. And there's the rest of his t-shirts. And I still have all the space in the back for his fall clothes. Here's a pile of clothes that he's already outgrown. So now I'm going through all the long sleeve shirts they already had hung in his closet to see if they fit. I think winter clothes are so cute. Look how cute this little wind jacket is. Like in Florida, we never really wear coats and stuff. It doesn't get cold that often. But we wear these little light jackets all the time. And this, I think, is so cute. We don't get to wear stuff like this often. Usually it's always hot here in Florida, so it gets cooler for a couple months and that's why he doesn't have that much of like long sleeves and stuff. But I'm from Ohio and it's so crazy because almost half the year we would be wearing hoodies and jackets and coats. So it's definitely a lot different here in Florida. So I don't have that many hoodies and stuff for him, but what we have is always plenty. And I always buy him a ton of different sweatpants and stuff so he stays warm at school, but we don't really need much jackets here. And now I'm going through the top bin I have. So recently we went to Walmart and got really cute little like pants. Look at these for fall. They're so cute. They're light and little zipper on the side and everything. Super cute. And then we got similar ones. They have dinosaurs on them. They're so cute. And they're long pants, but they're just cute. And they're kind of like joggers. They're tighter at the bottom, but they're very light for Florida. And I thought they were so cute. I really hope this video gives you guys motivation and gets you to clean your child's closet or whatever it is that you have on your to-do list that you need to get done. I randomly was thinking about how I got my closet so organized and how fall was coming up and I thought it's the perfect time to have a fresh clean closet, have everything organized and just get it ready for the fall season. So if you guys decide to do your child's closet or end up doing your kid's room, anything like that, make sure you comment down below and let me know. I love watching videos and doing the same. I went through this whole bin. These are all the pants, sweatpants, any kind of nice pants he has. For fall and cooler weather, all the shirts are already taken out of this. So I'm going to wait to take these out of here just because it's not ready for that kind of weather yet. But I have all the shirts hung up for fall. Now I'm just pulling down the next bin that I have up here on the closet to go through these clothes. So next I'm going to go through the stuff that he has to grow into. I'm going to pull out and see if any 3T or 4T fit him because sometimes I forget to go through the bin and he'll have stuff right up there that fits him. So I'm just going to grab both those down, kind of go through those, see if any shoes in there fit him. And yeah, I'm going to try to go through some stuff because it sits on the top of the closet. So sometimes we forget and then he ends up outgrowing it. So I just want to kind of go through those things and make sure none of the stuff up there fits. So I wanted to give you guys a little update. So on Wednesday, so in a couple days, I will be taking Liam to an ENT appointment. He actually had tubes in his ears. I remember telling you guys a little bit about his story, but he had tubes in his ears and they fell out. He was getting back-to-back -back ear infections nonstop, multiple times a month, and it was really bad. And while he had the tubes in for that entire year, he never had an ear infection or anything like that. It was truly like a miracle. So once we realized that his tubes did fall out, he started getting his ear infections again. And now we're kind of in the spot of not really knowing what we're going to do if we have to have the surgery again. So his appointment is just a follow-up to see what's going on. So I will definitely update you guys on what's happening and if he'll need the surgery or what they recommend. I really don't want to do the surgery again. I don't like surgery, but knowing that he won't ever have to deal with these ear infections for a while again is really nice. And I know he suffers and he's just miserable. So out of that bin, he had five things that fit him now. So I went ahead and put those away. And then there's another bin at the top there. I'm going to go ahead and take that one down. But I have myself a stack of stuff that he's outgrown that I'm going to donate. I'm excited.
Okay, so I went through all the bins at the top. The clothes are looking so much better. I have everything organized. I'm so happy it looks so clean. I have more stuff in the laundry like I told you guys. So I'm going to put the rest of the tank tops and bathing suits on that right there. And then let me zoom out. So I'm going to go through down here and figure out kind of what's going on. What is everything just to clear out some space and organize his closet. But it's looking so much better in here. I don't know if you guys are like me, but literally I have kept all his stuff. I have all his baby stuff, his hospital bands, bracelets, everything. And then all the art and stuff that he's made me just from school and different stuff. Literally all his Halloween cards from his friends. I keep everything in here. Obviously you guys can tell I'm outgrowing this, so I'm going to need a bigger container. But these memories mean so much and I will never be able to get rid of them ever. So I just kind of keep them on in his closet on the floor. And then as we get older and he gets more stuff i'll need a bigger bin but yeah i've had this stuff since he was born i literally have the hospital blanket that he got in the hospital in here so everything important is in this little thing so i'm going through his closet i just want to go through down here what i have on this little stand this is supposed to be all of his shoes and i use the top for kind of just a storage rack so i do want to just take everything off and reorganize his shoes because he's starting to have so many different pairs of shoes and I always have them all over the house. So I want to make sure all his shoes are in here nice and neat. And that way we can just come in his closet and grab them. I'm going to use a top shelf as well for little slippers and stuff that he has. But I'm going to start using this organizer and I think it'll help declutter. I'm so happy. So look at his shoes, how organized this looks. He has one more pair that's in the front. I'm just going to leave it at the door and his sandals are at the door. But I organized his shoes and then the top has his slippers and it looks so good. So I'm going to go ahead and just stack his hats here so they're easy to get to and I'm going to put a few toys in this closet just because we do not have enough organizers. He has so many toys so I brought those dinosaurs in there and here's his room. You guys, here's a before. It's an absolute disaster in here. There's toys everywhere. I have a lot to clean up in here but I'm going to show you guys before. This is real life. I have little dresser drawers of organizers but everything is just a mess honestly i just have a lot to do but the closet looks good so now that his closet is done i'm moving on to his bedroom and i try not to take long at all in here i'm gonna do maybe 15 20 minutes i'm just gonna clean things up and matt actually really helped me out and he took liam to walmart they're gonna get a few things and liam's gonna get a toy for being a good boy so when he takes in places, it really, really helps me. So I'm able to just focus on my cleaning. Because as you guys know, I love doing all my cleaning at night when Liam's asleep. So it's a lot harder for me to clean with him. I know he likes to help me. He's so sweet. But I'm able to actually hurry up and get it done and enjoy the rest of the day. So Matt took Liam. I'm able to go ahead and get his room done. So I'm just going to pick up the toys. As you guys can tell, there's stuff everywhere. There's little tiny dinosaurs and Hot Wheel cars and everything I've just been stepping on. So I thought today would be the perfect day. Since I'm already organizing his closet, I might as well go ahead and pick up his room as well. That way everything is clean. And you guys, it's just nice to go through things. Maybe there's toys that your kids haven't touched in a long time. Sell it on Facebook Marketplace or donate it to a friend who needs toys. Whatever it is, it just clears out the space in your room. And then you're able to have a peace of mind because... I know it's so hard to really focus, at least for me, when everything is cluttered and all over the place. I love to have a clean, clear space. So I'm just finishing up cleaning up his room and it's already looking so much better in here.
Okay, so his room is looking so good. I do have some toys still out here just because he has so many cars. I couldn't put everything in the closet, but I vacuumed in here and then his dresser's looking nice. I put all his monster cars over there and then I also organized his drawers. And then over here in his closet, I put some cars in the back over there just because he has so many. I do need to get some type of organizer or something in here, I'm thinking. But for now, this looks nice. It's organized and I am so happy with his room. Now I'm just going to organize the top of his little dresser right here and light a candle. Okay, I'm just dusting off the top of this dresser up here. I want to reorganize it and just move things around a little bit. So I just want to make sure everything is dusted and cleaned in his room. His closet looks so good and his room looks so good. So I just want to finish dusting everything and his room will be done. I want to light a candle and make sure it smells really good in here and I'm really happy about the outcome of this room. Okay, it looks so nice up here. So I have this little light that we put on at night. It's so cute. It lights up the whole room a certain color. And then he has his little piggy bank back there. I love this photo. So I have this in here. And then I had this when I was a baby. So I love that. And then these are so cute. So this is from his baby shower. And then these were made for him whenever I was pregnant. I think they're so cute. I've kept them all this time and I love them. So there's three of them my friend made me. And then he loves little animals and our neighbor gave this to him he loves it so much so i keep it on his dresser and then we collect funko pops so this is liam's it's so cute he's obsessed with powdered donuts so if you guys can relate i had to get this for him so just put that on his dresser and it looks so cute and neat in here i have a candle going in here just to let it smell good and i really love the clear one it's so cute so I'm gonna let this go but his room looks so good all right so i cleaned his room up and then we did dinner and before we end the night i wanted to make a halloween dessert i have been doing that i feel like it makes you more in the mood for the holidays and it's just fun to do so i'm gonna make the devil's food for cupcakes i'm gonna do with the chocolate and then i'm gonna do this cream cheese icing that i got that's the one we always use but then i also found different sprinkles i was looking for ones we don't have orange here so I thought this is what I got and it, as you guys can see there's like a mix of a bunch of different ones on here which I thought would be cool because we can use it more than just Halloween. But yeah, I'm going to put cute little sprinkles and do Halloween cupcakes. So keep watching. I hope you guys enjoy this part. This year I have been making so many fun Halloween desserts and it's just fun to do. So I thought Halloween pumpkins would be really good and devil's food is fun to do for Halloween too. So it's gonna be really yummy and Liam's just helping me put all the cupcake liners on this pan and then we're gonna go ahead and get started and mix everything if you guys like to bake and stuff with your kids make sure you guys do cute little Halloween cupcake like this because you guys are gonna love it and comment down below if you decide to do the same ones as us because they're gonna come out so good Alright, so we're about to put these in the oven. They're looking so good and they smell so good. Okay, they're done. They have to cool. They're really hot right now, but they smell so good. You guys, I'm going to show you what they look like, but I'm going to let these cool for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll add the icing to them and put sprinkles. I laid Liam down for bed so he can have one tomorrow and I have the dishwasher running right now, so don't mind that. But I'm just going to fold a little, little laundry and I'll be back once they're cool. Here's what they look like. They look so good. I never make chocolate ones, but I wanted chocolate for Halloween and they smell so good. I'm so glad I did the chocolate instead of any other ones. They're going to be so good. These cupcakes are looking so good. I'm just taking them off the pan and I'm going to let them cool. 
and I'm going to go ahead and probably do my skincare after this and get all ready for bed. But I have been really in the mood for just making a fun holiday dessert before bed. It's fun to do and I like doing this on the weekends. So now I'm going to go ahead and ice these. I did let them cool for like probably 30 minutes just to let them cool before I put on the icing. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the sprinkles. They're looking so good and they smell so good. Okay, so they are all iced. They look really good. I ran out of room on this tray, so I put a few on this plate, but I'm gonna go ahead and put sprinkles on them. They look so good. I don't know what sprinkles I'm gonna do. They have really cool black flat matte ones. Also, they have black and orange. So I think I'm gonna change it up, and then they have a really cute orange glittery one. But you guys have to comment down below and let me know if you're the same as me and love doing fun holiday desserts and stuff because I always have fun doing that and I feel like it makes it the holidays so much more fun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have a cupcake and then we're going to put a Halloween movie on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to close this out here. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Ooh